Hello, who's there? Hey, Teresa. How are you? How are you, my dear? What's going on? Are you off today? Or are you home already? Let me get some water. Hold on a minute. Ooh, it's a sauna in here. What is going on? You off today? I'm glad you get a notification because I was wondering if I'd be here talking to myself. <laughs> so you're home okay so I got some company okay <laughs> um could you send a link to JY for me please Woo, girl I'm burning up in here okay let me start people would come in as they come in <laughs> let's start See what Amazon is saying. <laughs> okay, I open the right bag first. Bananas. Now for the people who are custom ordering from Amazon, I love me some Amazon. Um, it's very convenient that they have Amazon Kitchen, so you get. You know fruits, vegetables, and I'm a vegetarian for the people who don't know. If you're new to my channel or just don't recall. So it's nice to um, get stuff delivered to you and uh, don't have to walk the road with a cane. For who don't know, I have a disability of sorts. I have my good moments in between, but generally I walk with a cane because I walk with a limp. So walking with a bunch of bags and limping. And holding the cane while holding the bag a bit much. Amazon Kitchen to the rescue. So we have some organic blueberries. Avocado. We make some um, peas and rice. Or I could have um, guacamole with chips because I have chips and salsa. Organic avocados and bananas. Let's push this off to the side. Okay, that's one bag down. What are you making for dinner? Yes, in another couple of days, they'll be okay. So I, I would put them in a brown paper bag and put it in a, in a dark corner. One of these same bags, actually. And in a day or two, it will be fine. And nice and right, but we really don't know that trick, okay? Okay, bag number two. What are you making for dinner, honey? Mm 
I was thinking to do a video and then upload it and then I told about it. I was like, you know what? Editing and all of that. And then my phone running out of space. So I was like, let me just uh, um, open the bags. If anybody comes, I'll appreciate it. And if they don't, they'll see it after. But I wouldn't have to edit. And I don't have the storage in my phone. My phone telling me, you know, delete stuff. There's no room in the inn. Okay? What are you going to do? You having Sunday food today? Okay, so this bag has... Because we have to have snack, which I forgot about. So, so the avocado will be to eat with my food. And then we have a, a avocado and tomatillo salsa. I love the... um. What chips is that? Is it Scoops? It's shaped like a little bowl and you dip it in the stuff. Yep. Okay, and we have this kale salad that I love so much. It has broccoli, kale, Brussels sprout, green cabbage, radicchio, cranberries, and the pumpkin seeds. So the cranberry and the pumpkin seeds is in a separate bag. So, and then it comes with a dressing in there, kind of um, tart kind of dressing, kind of like ranch, but not quite. It's like a mix between ranch and, um, well, it's not coming to me right now. Uh, between ranch and like a vinaigrette. It's like a sweet, tangy taste. And then the, the cranberry and pumpkin cheese is in a bag by itself. So I mix a salad and in a bowl, I leave it there for two, I eat out of it maybe two or three days but when I put it in my bowl then I sprinkle the cranberry and the pumpkin seeds to get the crunch it's so pretty looking with the reds and the greens and the whatever love it what next I'm seeing five people but only Teresa is talking so I guess the others are onlookers you could say hi at the very least please hit the like button Thank you. Appreciate it. Five watching, one commenting. Okay. It's your world. Okay. okay. And there is chips. When I, the one I have is done, which is not far from being done. Snack time later on. And some um, salsa water or whatever. Sparkling, there's a sparkling water and it's fruity. It tastes like soda, but it's not soda. It's flavored sparkling water. So I like to have that with my snacks when I'm watching and Netflix or whatever. Okay, these are very convenient. These veggie bowls. There's a cup like this. And you put it in the microwave to hot. And then there's a sauce. It comes with a spoon in case you got to go out into the street or whatever. Oh, if you was working and you had to hot this up at work, you hot this and then you throw the sauce in it and you mix it up and you heat it over a little longer if that's what you want to do. But it tastes real good and it's convenient because sometimes I'm either not feeling well or I'm trying to catch up on things that I didn't do when I wasn't feeling well. And these things come in really handy when you don't want to cook or you just can't because you don't feel good. So they come in handy. Right now I have leftovers in the fridge, but I'm saying in the next day or two when they're done and I'm trying to do things like how I'm live right here and I'm trying to do stuff for my business or whatever, or I'm actually recording a video that I want to edit or any number of things. I'm posting uh, music um, stuff on Instagram or TikTok or whatever. So this one was, what flavor was this one? What did I do with it? Okay, so this one was the Asian style soy sesame with quinoa and brown rice. Okay, I think this is like a peanut butter sauce or something. This one. This has carrot corn, brown rice, quinoa. And this is a soy sesame sauce. I like it. It's kind of tangy. And then I threw some hot sauce in it. Because I can't help myself. Okay, none of really supposed to be eating spicy stuff. But it's in my DNA. This one is a Southwest bowl with the beans and the rice and the corn. And then the um, and quinoa as well. 
and this jalapeno and tomato, the salsa. I love this one as well. Hey, natural Jamaican. What up, girl? I um, just got these bags from Amazon and I said, let me just go live while I'm unpacking it and not have to edit a video. I have to come over by you know, I saw um, a post come up on Instagram what day it was and I was like, oh my God, I got to go over there. And then my phone rang and then by the time I was done, I forget what I was going to do. Forgive you, girl. I'm going to come check on you. Okay. This is like a ramen noodle like, but um, vegetarian style. Just put the water and put this in it. Hot it up in a couple of minutes. Put the water to boil in a saucepan if that's what you want to do. And add the noodles to it and just cover it down and let it like seep or whatever. We could put the pot of water in the stove and empty this in it and... Let the water boil them first, empty it in it, let it cook a couple minutes. You say it's normally cook like two minutes. Okay. Vegetarian style. And there is more garlic and vegetable. And then we have the quick cook quinoa and brown rice with, with vegetables and stuff. Put in the microwave. These normally be like around two minutes or so as well. You just tear the top of the bag and you um, put it to hot for a couple of minutes. I can't read. Sometimes I put a little bit of water in it because it's very grainy. And when you put a little, like a quarter cup of water in it, it makes the rice be more. Because when it's grainy, it's less. You know what I mean? When you put water in it, it fluffs up more, which makes it more full in. These quick meals come in very handy, as, as I said. Okay. Don't judge me. When I cook, I cook a lot of food. Like, I have a lot of food in the fridge. But when I don't cook these things, I grab them. If I'm feeling sick or anything, or I'm busy, and I don't want to stand up in a hot kitchen, 100 degrees, and cook in in the summertime, especially. This is dal, black lentil, tomato, cumin, um, nice um, plate of brown rice or whatever. And I put some hot sauce in there. I know natural Jamaica know about that. Jamaica YouTube. What well, going on there? Yes. Veggie style sitting. I mean that Rasta nine and the meat things. Eggplant. Indian style. With cumin and stuff. And tomato sauce. Mm, my mouth is watering. Basmati rice. 90 seconds. Put a little bit of water in here. And um, tear off the top and let it, um, I just put it, I just separate it, put a little bit of water and put it on paper towel and put it to lay down. And then, you know, fluff up real nice. Wild rice. Amazon kitchen are going with things, you know. More brown rice. And another one of the, um, the veggie bowl, roasted red pepper, and quinoa again. Gosh, I'm feeling hot. Mushrooms, red pepper, artichoke, tomatoes, garlic sauce. Mmm. This can be pretty handy. Hold on, guys. I gotta get a little fan and bring it in here. I feel like I wanna pass up. never taught to do this before. I guess sometimes my brain don't work 100, but just today, it just occurred to me. Let me do a, let me go live and do a little video. JY, I've been a, a <laughs> I've been vegetarian since we, long before I meet you. Don't do it. <laughs> I have been a vegetarian before you know me, okay? I've been a Rasta 
in my heart and at some point in real life. Okay? I turn myself in that. Trust me. See, I, I need a rasta man in my life, a uh, natural um, Jamaican. <laughs> I swear, I need a rasta man in my life because it could be real rough. You're dating somebody and you eating vegetables and them with a big piece of pork or some jerk chicken in your face. That rough. Trust me. Okay. We have dole. Acai bowls, put in my, um, you can put it on top of yogurt or any kind of thing you eat in granola or whatever. But I like to make smoothie with, um, like banana and strawberry and stuff. Some oats, um, make sure I have a vanilla and a little bit of cinnamon and whatever. I have smoothie right now as we speak. I'll do the bottle. All right. Strawberry banana. What else is in here? Strawberry, banana, beets, peaches, um, almond milk, um, essence, angostura bitters, a little bit of cinnamon, and so on. Okay? Every day like clockwork. I'll be drinking some just now. Okay? More say bowl. <laughs> Natural Jamaican vegan not taking no blame at all. Not no blame. Not at all. I have no case of water on the ground, but I'm not gonna lift that up to show it up here. There's the um case of um the sani. Okay. And what I love, they put these in the bag to keep your stuff cool. So and I have extra bottles of water to drink, okay? I see no more text rolling in. No meat eating at all, none at all. No type of way, shape, or form. <laughs> no way, shape, or form. More side balls. Mm -hmm. Brown rice again, black beans, and red pepper and stuff again. Organic. Tofu scramble, oh my god, this is so good in the mornings. Ah, so good. Let's see if I can um, tell you all the, the um, stuff in here. Spinach. It's tofu, it's like scramble egg. That, that version of it. it has spinach, carrot, mushrooms, hash browns, and so on. Well seasoned. This, this is nice in the morning with... Um, on the morning when I don't feel like making nothing and I have my smoothie and that and I'm very happy. Butternut squash dal and basmati saffron rice. And it's funny because um, what I made, what I have in the fridge right now is, is dal, um, which is split peas with Indian seasoning. Yes, ma'am. And uh, what do you call it? Spinach mixed with kale, well seasoned up and spicy and saffron rice. So we are the same, we are the same part. And just going in the oven just now because I don't have face for this in the freezer. So normally this will be the first thing I'm I'm gonna do. This uh, brick oven, spinach and roasted mushroom pizza. So good. Okay. Spinach, mozzarella cheese, portobello mushrooms. Creamy onion sauce. When I, this is very much gourmet. Hey, Mr. Wise. I had this uh, two weeks ago with a glass of wine. Oh, my God. I was very bougie. I had it with a knife and fork. <laughs> I know it's a disrespect to the pizza, but I didn't feel like dirty my hands. So I was dressed up really nice, and I had it with a knife and fork and a glass of wine. Oh, crap. So, when the, when the, um, what do you call it? When it's, it's, it's tree something now, when the temperature cools down a little bit, I'll put the oven on and put that in first because I don't have room to put that in a freezer. So I'm going to make that first and cut it up in pieces and put it in a bowl and put it in the fridge. But, um, yeah. So that is it. 
um, didn't get a lot today, but it's enough because I have stuff in the fridge already. And as I say, on the days I don't feel well or don't feel to cook, these come in real handy. Or went out all day taking care of stuff and I come in the house and don't want to buy food outside. Um, you know, I try to eat some before I leave, walk with a little snack in my bag. And as I get in the house, I grab one of these and hug them up real quick before I pass out. Because I'm anemic and I cannot get hungry. As soon as I get hungry, as soon as I feel hungry, my body is already telling me long ago that I'm hungry. But I didn't get the signal. So by the time I feel the signal, I start to feel the dizziness. You know what I mean? So... That's how that goes. So they come in really handy when I just want to hot up something for two minutes. Oh crap. So that's it for my Amazon Prime, Amazon Kitchen haul for today. As I said, a lot of times it'd be like, you know, twice as much as this, but I have a lot of things already. So I just, you know, got a few things this time. But it's enough. You know what I mean? Mr. Wise, what is new? What is new and what's good in the hood? I haven't seen you in a long time. I think he messaged me sometime. And I saw the message and I was on a phone call. And then I never remember to message you back. My bad. <laughs> okay, okay, Natural Jamaican. I'll link you a little more. What do you make today to eat? What you make or making? I know you had smoothie today, but what else? A YouTuber's life, eh? You have to run off because editing, and that's why I decided to go live right now, random. Because I'm like, I'm not, I don't have the room in my phone and I don't have time. Oh, vegan mashed potato with what? Lentil? I don't have room in my phone and I don't want, even if I did, and you know, it, I might not even want to do, um, you know, how to record and edit. I was just a random thing and I was like, I'm going to go and pack these bags. Let me just go live. If somebody come, great. If they don't, they'll see it when they come after. You know what I mean? Like a, like a peeping through your window? Yes, lentils. Okay, Mr. Wise. So now I'm trying to keep up with Because even when I'm not on YouTube and nobody's seen me on YouTube, I have other things I'm doing. I have multiple pages I'm running. You know, I have a business, I have a music, I have many things I'll be doing. So, and then sometimes I'm sick, I just have to lay in my bed. Okay, okay. So, YouTube has life, not easy, okay? <laughs> it's not easy. I ain't staying on here too long. I just decided randomly, let me just go live. And um, show you Amazon Kitchen. You can check, out, check it out. They're not paying me, maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day I'll have an affiliate link, but for now. <laughs> oh, you're at work. They're not paying me. I'm just letting you all know that I never thought of it before today to do the um, unboxing while I'm unpacking my bags from Amazon Kitchen. It comes in very handy for people on the go, you know, or you're cooking and you're cooking for you alone. So sometimes you don't feel like, and sometimes you have other things you want to do. So, you know, you, um, Uploading stuff on Instagram for my business page or on TikTok. Um, like somebody said me there about TikTok and um, they think it's wasting time or whatever. And my thing to that is this. I am doing music. I'm on TikTok. Yes, it's fun. It's entertaining. But the bottom line is still the bottom line. I am on TikTok. I have gained a following. I have made friends. F follow, the, f follow the yellow brick road. When I'm ready to drop another song, YouTubers are not the only people, right? I have YouTube, I have stuff on Spotify and different platforms, right? So the more people that I that know who I am when I'm ready to drop another project and I put it in advance, I'm dropping it, 
and I have on YouTube, I'm about to drop this, I'll give you a sneak peek, then I put it on Instagram, then I put it on TikTok, whatever. All these platforms serve a different purpose, but they all come into the same common goal, is that when I'm ready to drop another project, people know who the heck I am, and they're more inclined to watch it. Tell me if I'm making sense or not. Right? Hey, 3,000 degrees. What's up? You don't on Instagram no more? You missed the the little um the little unboxing from Amazon Kitchen, but you could go back and watch it. I was now saying I'm about to come up there, so I'm about to chat a little few minutes. Yeah, so as I was saying, every platform has its purpose and it all comes to the same thing. You're gaining a following, you're not putting all the eggs in one basket, you're building up your pages, and when you're ready to do whatever you want to do, whether it's new merch, whether it's new music whether it's whatever you have a following on different platforms oh, you are with the same name you have here is it with the same name because whatever name you had before i i don't know unless we be fin and you block me i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know haven't seen you in a year or two or something on Instagram. Okay. Okay. So I don't know what's going on with your life. No to what? Is it the same name? What name is it under? Or you don't want to say that in the chat. So how would I know? I just missed my birthday a couple of weeks ago. So I still accept in gifts. Thank you. <laughs> still accepting gifts and super chats and whatever. I could still drink a beer. I could still get some wine. Okay, Mr. Wise. <laughs> no excuses. You can still drop a super chat. Let me get a beer or something. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. It is too hot. You at work, Dre? Are you at work? You know who's missing from my old crew? Um, Teresa, when I came on YouTube before, all of you all knew me. Um, Mr. Wise and 3000 Degrees, which had a different name. And Dom, Dominique, a whole bunch of us, you know, we used to be in each other's stream and stuff all the time. And, you know, we start spreading ourselves thin, you know, and we kind of lose track with each other, sort of, kind of, but we're still there. Okay. Thanks, Dre. You owe me. You owe me a cake. <laughs> you owe me a cake and some wine. Oh, crrr. You have no excuses. <laughs> I know yours is coming up soon. You have no excuses whatsoever. Still accepting gifts. Thank you. Don't put me no mind in my bonnet or whatever looking like a bum, eh? It's hot. I was minding my business. Um, folding laundry, whatever, and Amazon Kitchen showed up, and I'm like, let me do a video. The next track, nobody to turn up. I'm like, I'm going to just go live, and I wouldn't have to uh, record and edit because my phone is jamming up, you know, with space. So let me just do this, and uh, um, looking a hot mess, but I clean up well, so I'm not tripping, okay? <laughs> yeah, you owe, you owe me from a long time ago. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. My condolences. Oh. Oh my. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I had uh, one of my aunt recently passed away. And one of my neighbors who's a grown man to me. Like a father like. He just died like last week. And before that. Somebody else. I just can't keep up. It's, it's sad. I'm trying to keep. You know. Trying to keep um, my wits about me not to go insane. But, um, yeah. Sending hugs and kisses. You know? Mr. Wise, what's it mm about? <laughs> what's it mm about over there? 
So it goes sometimes. So that's why, you know, if, if one thing I could tell you, you know, you might want to hear it right now, but just in general, if one thing I could say, anytime things like that happen, it make you kind of take stock of your own life and think of what you're not doing that you should do or what you always wanted to do that you haven't done yet because, as they say, you don't know the day or the hour. So a lot of times we sit and we're like, like my aunt, for instance, I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't gone home in like four years and something. And I'm like, when I go home, I'm going to see my aunt. She makes the best banana bread. And I'm like, not that I can't make banana bread, but I like my aunt's banana bread. So I'm like, okay, when I go home, I haven't seen her the last time I was there. Oh, I think I saw her once, but I haven't been home in over four years. So I'm like, when I go home, that's one of my favorite aunties. I'm going to go by her. She cracks the most ridiculous jokes. I'm going to go by, and I mean that in a good way. I'm going to go by her. We're going to relive certain things that she went through with her husband and different things who died a while back. And, you know, I'll be laughing till I'm on the floor. So I'm like, oh, my God, I can't wait. When I come home, I'm going to look for auntie, and I'm going to eat some of her banana bread and whatever. And she was sick, and nobody told me. This is a hard part. Nobody told me because I'm sick a lot on, you know, and nobody want to tell me so I could stress out over it that end up in intensive care or whatever. So I get an alert on Facebook and when I click the alert, boom, my cousin is saying, oh, rest in peace, grandma. I'm like, what? She must be talking about her other grandma on her father's side or whatever. And then I started to see pity as on the time and I said, no, I didn't know she was sick. I didn't know she was in another hospital. I had no idea she had a stroke prior. So just the shock of that, I, I almost collapsed in here. No exaggeration. Just the shock because you had no clue. Like when somebody's sick, you know they're sick. You want to hope they get better, but you might have an inkling. Well, they're sick. The doctor says bad. There's a chance. But when you have no idea somebody was sick at all, and then all of a sudden you, you see him go, uh, rest in peace. What? I, it took everything out of me not to collapse. In. I was all on the counter leaning down like my blood pressure went up right away. So, you know, <sighs> but as I say, it makes you take stock of your life and think, what is on my bucket list I haven't done yet? Who I haven't told, you know, I'm thinking about them. Who I haven't told, I miss them. Who gets on my nerves, but I want to call them and say, you know, you get on my nerves sometimes, but I love you still, you know, that kind of way. So that's how that is. So, you know, it puts certain things in perspective that you might not have. Really wanted to give much thought prior. I'm not seeing no um, writing. What's going on? Okay. Yes, it puts things in perspective because you're putting off things and you're like, oh, I didn't do this for this time. Next year, I'm going to do this. Oh, in the next five years, I'm going to do that. You don't know where you're going to be. So, um, as I always say, as cliche as it is, don't save for tomorrow what you could do today. Tell me you love me today. Tell me I apologize for being an ass today, okay? <laughs> you know, tell me sorry I went missing. Tell me today. I want my flowers today, okay? Okay, tell me I have a smart mom, but you still love me. Tell me today, okay? Okay? And even though it's only a few of you all in here, I'm, I'm pretty much elated because I didn't think anybody would show up. Show up, I mean, so, you know. Love you guys. So happy that you're here. And I'm not just here unpacking bags, talking to myself. Oh, girl. Teresa, you told me what you're eating today? I can't remember. I don't think so. I think Natural Jamaican Vegan told me what she was eating. You know I'm a foodie at heart. What are we eating today, Teresa? I'm not seeing no, um, nobody's typing. You all had enough of me already? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm talking about showing love and telling me you miss me and whatever, and you all just going blank on me. Oh, no. My life is sad. <laughs> my life is sad. They don't care about me. They do not care. They're like, whatever. They're like, okay, girl, whatever. Oh, 
my god. Girl, whatever you say, girl, we don't care because I'm not seeing no, no more words. Put away my stuff while I'm talking. They don't love me. <laughs> they don't love me no more. They're like, girl, whatever, bye. Like, bye, girl, bye. We don't care. Okay, Teresa, and I, I know Mr. Wise at work, and I guess um, Andre disappeared. Um, Mr. 3000 Degrees disappeared. So I'm going to just finish putting my stuff, and I'm going to log off. It's been real. Okay. another time when I decide to do a random live hopefully <laughs> okay that'll be it for today finish put this away and uh, go eat some fruits or whatever it's hot as hell and um, I'm sweating like a horse so that'll be it for me Adios. Adios, amigos.